back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week, we turn off the podcast and on the radio. Morning DJs have been part of the entertainment landscape since the beginning of radio. Being with you in your car as you get ready, as you eat breakfast. They are the driving force of people that give away free tickets to things. Without DJs on the radio, what would America even be? (laughs) So today, we collaborate with our favorite radio DJ station and get an inside look at what makes the cookie crumble and what makes that red light that means record click. Caller number AOAOAOA. Let's listen in. Good morning, America. You are up here in the morning with me and my buddies here on the radio station having a really good time this morning. As you guys know, my name is Crazy Cody, and I'm having a good time here with my buddies on Artists and Artists and Artists and Artists on a podcast. (laughs) Hey, guys, what's up? My name is The Beef here on KW95, The Sploosh. Uh, I am kind of the guy who does the silly voices and stuff, and... I don't know. Maybe I'm a little bit of the butt of the joke sometimes. That's but right. other than that, you know, we have a <laughs> <Yeah>. lot of fun. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's Crazy Cody and the Beef here on 99.5 The Sploosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hot. <laughs> totally. And let's introduce our two girls. Ew, girls. <laughs> girl alert. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> yeah. Ha, <laughs> Totally. You guys can go ahead and say your names. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am L.E.K. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, and I'm Bessily. That's right. <laughs> L.E.K. and Bessily are two girls. We're two girls, and I will say, <laughs> we normally only have one girl, but there was a scheduling issue on the Slack, and so we both showed up. This is so funny because there's not even enough chairs for us today. We're both on the same stool. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. A lot of feminine energy coming into the man cave tonight. We're <laughs> worried a little bit about it. I hope I don't walk out wanting some sort of uh, apple tea or something like that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, I'm a skateboarder. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm a rollerblader. Great. We actually weren't asking. No, nobody asked that, but very interesting information. Crazy sure. Cody and the Beef, we have been the mainstay of the Los Angeles, Southern California uh, radio landscape since the early, early 90s. Mm-hmm. Uh, the world has changed a lot, but we have been there together. It's We've been a really good time. we stuck it out the same. Uh, you know, the the Sploosh has gone through a lot of different changes. Our, our I mean, the channel is Sploosh. Our radio show is called uh, Crazy Cody and the Beef, uh, and we've had to really change some things, uh, but it's been great. It's been great. I'm glad we've stuck it out the whole time. We've really done it. And we got two awesome girls. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The station really has changed. For example, we used to give away iPods, and now we give away iPhones. That's right. Good. Yeah. <laughs> also, we've We've been super into giving back. We give back back to school packages. Packages? <laughs> Sorry, it's crazy. There's two of us here. Sorry, today. you. I, I, you. That's usually my line. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> Well, let's jump into it. I mean, uh, (laughs) you guys are kind of seeing behind the scenes of what happens like when we play songs. uh, Then we get on the radio and we just dish it out. I mean, we're talking about whatever we can. Uh, Doing a radio show every day brand new is pretty tiring. You you have to keep on brainstorming idea after idea after idea sometimes. You you said it, the beef. And it's difficult, too, because we have to, you know, usually use sound effects. But uh, our sound effects guy is uh, uh, taking a break. He mm-hmm. recently got a vasectomy, and it is turning on him. So he's taking it's some time. on him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I say. Never get him snipped. Whoopsie. Yeah. Uh-oh. Snipped. Snipped, get stitched. That's right. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually quite sad. His penis has turned on him. It's turned into... <laughs> A situation that none of us foresaw, not even the doctors could see this <laughs> Yeah, his penis is evil. Ha, huh, that's so funny. A penis turning on him? That sounds like a vag. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. sure what that means. So anyways, our sure sound effects guy, means. he's not here, so we actually have to do our own sound effects. We want to give you guys a reminder that there's not going to be doing an, anyone doing the sound effects. So if you guys want to throw some in there, like, oh, there we go. We got a fart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we got a wacky that? noise. <laughs> Generic <laughs> wacky noise. One of my favorite things that he likes to play. That's for when we say something off the wall. <laughs> no. That's What's really also awesome one. about this um, is that we're doing this in studio today. I'd say that three out of our seven days of the week were on location, sometimes in front of a water park or... Uh, yeah, three out of the seven days a week we totally. go on location in front of a water park sometimes. It's a wild and crazy radio show. We're yeah. asking yeah. 95 the sploosh for it. Yeah, you never know where you're going to be. We're sometimes catching, you're on the slide, sometimes you're catching waves. No matter what, you better call in to 93.5 for those tickets to the shopping mall real soon. We're catching the sploosh, the splash, and the wash. So the thing about the girls is they do a lot of the promotional stuff. <laughs> totally, and they're so good at it. They're rock and roll at it. <laughs> but they kind of fall into it a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, it's, it's We want to give them segments. We want to let them grow in their totally. own voices. But a lot of the time, so what happens is when, when our radio show, uh, Crazy Cody and the Beef, is not on, We'll do a lot of promotional stuff, and it's just so nice to hear those beautiful feminine voices do the promotions. It's yeah. such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Women sell things better. I always say that. <laughs> this special is sponsored by Kmart. Kmart, you better come in here now. We've got stuff for you to buy. We're outside Six Flags Water World Magic Mountain, and we're giving away Kmart bags. Fill the K's and the Marks. Kmart, Kmart, Kmart. You're going to be saying all that when you step into our new store on Burbank Boulevard. Yeah, totally. S- those beautiful feminine voices. It's just, it's, it's, it's music to my ears. Well, we got to have feminine touch on this uh, here podcast because, uh, radio, because the way that you guys go on and on about your guy stuff, it's so important to have the girls' perspective. For well, example, I mean, girls can't be trusted, and they shouldn't be, <laughs> and you should always look at their phones. Well, that's the thing that we to. constantly talk yeah. about on the radio show. I actually disagree with her on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is shocking for me. This is crazy, because when we sit, we always talk about this, can girls be trusted? We're constantly <laughs> pushing it that they can. By the way, call in now, one 800 KN95, tell us if women can be trusted. Well, this is an interesting thing. Uh, AOAOAO has let us add caller in just to, uh, you know, stimulate and simulate uh, a radio show. Totally. We actually feel like. Oh, I wish you, I bet you wish it was stimulated. <laughs> yep, well. it's KN95, the sploosh with the beef and Cody, Kimulate, stimulate, and bimulate. By the way, it's not KN95, the mask. We were hard <laughs> against that when that was happening. We were. So this we is were. basically what it's like every morning <laughs> and i want to reiterate we are on the air from 4 a.m to noon every single day eight hours of content coming straight to those ear holes giving you guys tickets to go see cheap trick at a wango tango so let's talk maybe- and that's and i want to specify because kiss fm owns wango tango we own a wango tango oh wango <laughs> it's yeah. got the some of the best cover bands you've ever heard of yeah they've got the cures They've got uh, white stripes. They've yep. got somebody who only covers Pompeii by Bastille. <laughs> That's right. Way-o, 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 He's so way-o, good. Way-o, way-o. <laughs> but it's not Bastille, and don't get them confused. It's a man who sounds a lot like the lead singer and plays one of those instruments. That's all the instruments: a gr- a drum, a guitar, That's an right. accordion. He's amazing. But his hands are a lot longer, and he'll make sure you know that. He Bastilles, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> a thief. <laughs> Anyway, a Wango Tango can be found in Reno, California. Yeah. And that's not a city in California. (laughs) So what we mean by that is there's a casino in Nevada called California. That's what we mean when we say Reno, California, the only casino where you can buy dogs. So let's talk about how we structure our show. Sure. Crazy Cody. You go ahead, Crazy Cody. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, so, you know, it's a lot of really fun segments. You know, it's it's been a really good time. I do miss the 90s. Uh, I miss the contests we got to do in the 90s. Those yeah. were super, super fun. Oh, my god! It was really, really fun. We we were the first radio station to do a competition where uh, if you kept your hands on a vehicle, uh, you could win the vehicle if you kept it on for the hands on a hard body contest. But our car was in motion, mm-hmm. and it was going really slow down a hill. <laughs> it was Uh-oh. two miles an hour down a hill. It would pick up speed every little bit, and people had to keep their hands on the last person to hold on. The trick was, though, we let you bring one item of tape. So you could right. tape your hand if you wanted to. 
It was crazy. It was awesome. But then 9-11 happened and things got Just really things serious. changed after 9-11. Things just changed in the air. I miss the uh, audio wet t-shirt contest you guys would have. Yes. That was fun. Oh, that was it sick. would be describe how wet your t-shirt is. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we, we had to take their word on it because they'd call in. <laughs> Yeah. So it was whoever could use the soppiest, wettest adjective they could. It use. was in a way a poetry contest, and I actually think that rocked. <laughs> and depending on, <laughs> oh my God, this one girl called in and said she was completely ensconced in water. <laughs> oh, that was good. And I believed her. I believed her. <laughs> and depending on which woman was in that day, we would never trust her. That's right. You never, you never trust her. You mm. never trust her. But nowadays, yeah. your guys' your guys' interviews are really good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we like to have a lot of fun with interviews. We do something a little different with the interviews, where the beef will interview them, and then I'll come in and I'll say, "Hey, uh, is is that all good? I I think we're about to start, so we'll make it sound like the beef doesn't work there." It's really funny. They seem to really, really respond. Kind of. Kind of. It kind of. It's always interesting, you know, I'm kind of the front man, the guy who gets a lot of shit on this, you know, the beef is always getting yeah. called out. So. You're always weird, you always wear the worst smelling deodorant, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff that we bring up in granular detail every single you day that you're doing wrong. You guys get me every single day for that stuff. Yeah. Hey. I'll tell you something that we may, okay, we may be getting you, but something you're not getting is laid. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's another thing, they constantly bring up my th- my divorce it was extremely messy natasha took the kids and it's something that they keep on bringing up but the beef loves it i love being oh, this, is, this is usually where we kids. put this is usually where we play the natasha sound by you're never getting the kids again yeah so they they asked <laughs> natasha to come and record a sound effect yeah it's that's my a real voice. my ex-wife yeah. saying you'll never get the kids again and then they added an air horn <laughs> fog horn after it that's right hilarious i love the segments where we uh, show you school pictures of the kids <laughs> and uh, just tell what they're up to, and we dial and in I the parent-teacher conferences. Yeah, I have to guess what the kids are up to. I love really that segment. Fun. My favorite segment is when we do act outs, where I get to do all the funny voices. You guys, uh, say, you say, you, "Oh, here's the situation," and I, 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 I fake call in. Will yeah. you do? Will you do Paris Hilton? Uh, calling into the sex party again? Oh yeah, do we call this Beefers Theater on the on the on the uh, on the show? I'll do the I'll do the intro of the sound. Dur, 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 dur. Three seats for Beefers Theater. Oh. Ring 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 ring. Hello, it's Paris Hilton. <laughs> That's what she sounds like. Totally. I'm just wondering if I can do the thing. Hello. Okay. Goodbye. I kind of forgot the prompt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, well, then. <laughs> and it's a classic thing that happens on Beaver's Theater. I, I don't know why these prompts well, just slip through me like glass. We used to write them for you. Well, we didn't. Totally. But somebody Not did. us. No. Somebody <laughs> used to, our assistant used to write you little comedy skits. Yeah, totally. it was so and fun. And they were so funny. But then people started complaining. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah. And we really went after Victoria's secret models. Well, we had we this really guy that was writing for us for a, a long time called Ben Shapiro. He loved writing the comedy skits for our uh, sploosh. Love that kid. Okay. Weird little twerp. Weird that, that little funny. twerp. Smelt like. A mix between roses and macaroni and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Remember, totally. what, remember that one day we surprised him by uh, covering him in a black light and seeing what kind of stains he had on his body? <laughs> and he was covered in stains. Covered in stains. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, what a weird show for a radio station. <laughs> I know. It was a weird show for us to do, but we did it. But we had to get poetic. And we went on true TV. Remember when that was a thing? <laughs> Well, this is the thing, you know, a lot of things about radio is that you don't have the video aspect. You know? no, so no, 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 no. You no. have to get really creative. Totally. You have to get really creative. It's awesome. Creative. I miss all our prank calls we used to do. Oh, I miss the days God. of pranks. Can uh, I just say that? Pranks. Can we oh, just my God. talk about 
when we would prank call, and these were real calls. When we would call, uh, we 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 would call, we would call the um the the owner of Embassy Suites, and we would pretend to be Queen Elizabeth. That yeah, and he believed us. And the idiot. way he believed us. the way Cody would would stare into the Embassy Suites eyes through the phone, yeah, and just and just just sizzle them into a thousand pieces. Do it again. For, for, for do your Queen Elizabeth for us, would you? <laughs> Please. Let's hear it. Oh, hello. I'm the Queen Elizabeth. Well, <laughs> welcome no to way. England. Totally. And then I would say, you're going to tell the Queen she can't stay at your hotel? Oh, I need a place to stay. Tell her to her face on the phone. <laughs> tell her she can't stay in your hotel. Why can't I stay in your hotel? And just like butter, we'd go, we're giving away Godiva bags of hot chocolate. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh my God! The days that Godiva used to. And I we miss still those have days, one man. in the back. So call one eight hundred Sploosh for your chance to win eleven year old Godiva chocolate. That's right. You're never getting my kids. Wah, wah, wah. Man, we've had a lot of fun on this show. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's good time to mention that we are actually uh, recording our last show after this ever. Mm-hmm. We're going off the air. It turns out radio is not working anymore. Uh, people yeah. who listen to Spotify podcast, but maybe there's a podcast coming down the line for us too. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be really for you, awesome for you too, or four, four or two. You said you too. Is it as in T O O or as in T W O? Like the two of you guys. In what way? What are you asking? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> we're asking. It sounded like you were. You were talking about the future of you too. Oh yeah. Uh, could you elaborate? Cause uh, we were wondering about us two. We were wondering cause we're two girl. We're two people. Right. We're two people, and we've been doing this for fifteen years now. And wah, wah, wah. when we go home, we don't have thoughts or anything else. So we were just wondering. Yeah, you where guys live go. together, don't you? We live together, separate rooms. We see each other in the kitchen sometimes. And, yeah, and... We sleep standing up. Yeah. Oh, without a bed, you probably have tons of room. <laughs> it's actually a it's pretty not... sweet deal. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. We go to the exact center of our room. We oh, face due listen. north, <laughs> and we stand and we yeah. sleep for exactly eight hours. Then 5 a.m., we're back in the studio, exactly. baby. Exactly. And I know you said we sleep standing up for uh, space, uh, but it's actually not a spatial thing. It's just for the sun. Explain that to me. We photosynthesize like plants. <laughs> the energy from the sun allows us to get deep into Gotta our Gotta say, core. due north is not the answer for sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> but back to our future. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. I mean, I you know, I didn't really think we were going to mention it here on uh, on artists on artists on artists on artists. This isn't our radio show, so I feel like sure, we, can we, can it. we can discuss it. We can discuss it. So we, we can definitely talk. We've about been it. trying to bring you guys over onto the podcast. Uh, you know, we're setting it up right now, but we're getting some uh, user feedback. We're getting some some some. Some observations. Get a lot of comments oh, no. that you guys maybe aren't really with the times of the modern woman. Mm-hmm. We aren't with the times of the modern woman. No, and, and it might be who's our fault. She? It, it might really be our, might be our who's she. Who's she? <laughs> <laughs> it's every woman. Who's, who's the she? modern woman? Where so, is she? You guys just and say can some. Can she be trusted? So this Call is kind of to tell uh, us if we can trust the modern woman. It's, I would hide her phone. Listen, I I, I want to uh, cop to this. I think that we are a little responsible. It's like when you look back, you homeschooled your child, and he doesn't know the alphabet. Yeah. That's how it feels to me. <laughs> That's how it feels like what we did to you guys, and it does keep me up at night in my bed lying down of course but it keeps me up at night because i wonder if we sent you guys off in a little bit of a wrong direction we chose to sleep standing up i know i'm not i'm not <laughs> i'm not holding i'm not holding we're not, we're not holding on to that <laughs> you do not do not come for our sleeping style we're, we're not we're really not we're not in 1998 we chose, we chose this something way. that works for us we're not okay we chose independently us. of you we're not okay. we chose that before being employed by you it's more about your views rather than how you sleep you know our what? it might be totally. what we do to ourselves when we walk in here <gasps> what 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 do you guys do to yourselves when you walk in here okay i'll be real and i don't know if you remember this but I've been having some strange dreams that may give us a clue into what's going on with us. All right, tell us about your dreams. What's going on? This is their dream section. <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of these. You're never getting the kids. Ella <laughs> Kay talks about her dreams. 
Okay, so I had a dream that I was in the office at Apple TV Studios, and I was pitching a show to the guy from Parks and Recreation, <laughs> Adam Scott. And I said, what if there was a show called Severance, where when you walk into your work life, you are completely divorced from your home life, and you can't remember who you are when you go into either one. And I remember pitching it as though it had happened to me, as though in 1998, I went into Bill Gates' office and I asked if this was possible because I was worried about the fucked up shit you guys were saying on air. And I wanted to continue making a moderate radio host salary. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Was this before or after you watched the show Severance? I believe the time is not linear. I believe everything <laughs> happened. Because for same. me, it sounds like you watched Severance and then had a dream about what it would be like to be severanced. Now, when you say watch Severance, are you talking about the show that I pitched in my brain? <laughs> or is that real? It's a real show. Okay. I really think this happened to me. You think, okay, so just to make sure, I understand. <laughs> you think when you walk through our studio doors, you've changed. You've changed, when and it's I a completely different When I walk through the studio person. doors, I don't remember what I do outside. All I know is that we go to the exact position in the center of our rooms. We sleep standing up, and then we go somewhere, and then we wake up. And we're back at home. Wow, this is really interesting. Is this still a dream, or is this is reality? This is real. And I think what's different about today is that I've never been here with you. That's what it is, because we're never... Here together. Here together. But you guys know that you sleep standing up. <laughs> you guys because we <laughs> and you guys are roommates. Because we chose that. Because we chose that because before I'm you. I don't believe in this shit. You guys are you guys are problematic and try to blame it on severance. <laughs> guys, I tried to own it. Did you not hear me try to I, own it? I heard you. I tried Cody. to cop to you it. You tried to cop to it, but they <laughs> they went in this completely different direction. In our defense. <laughs> in our defense. Hey. We chose that. We chose to sleep. Sleep that standing way. up. Okay, I know. <laughs> we get that. <laughs> I understand, my girls. And B. And B. When we were hired, you guys were in your late 30s, and we were 22 year old women. 22. And that's. <laughs> Bam, 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 the perfect age. <laughs> and that's when we've got You were never seeing like the kid. It's, bam, bam, bam. it's stuff like when you guys say that, unprompted. We didn't say the perfect age. We would have. We, we could have. So can I say, when we sleep standing up, we don't have the, bam, 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 the perfect age. Bam, 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 light my eyes. Bam, 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 these girls were never touched and beautiful it's what? spring break <laughs> i've lost the ball here <laughs> I, i've completely i've completely lost track i oh think my whatever God. they're talking about is true for them and we gotta let them believe whatever they Listen, are don't you gaslight us into thinking that what we're doing isn't real this is the most real i've felt listen we've gotten time. really on crazy cody and the beef we've gotten real a bunch of times as you guys remember mm -hmm. one of my favorite segments cody's cookies we send cookies to someone who uh, thinks that their uh, partner is cheating on them, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And we've done that pretty frequently, so we've gotten really real here. And I'm not afraid to get real. No. Yeah, I'm afraid to get real you at send all. cookies. We're getting, we're having, we're, we're, we're having a manic break. <laughs> sure. Yeah, same sure. thing. But a manic break where I also kind of remember the cookie thing. <laughs> and I remember it being awesome. Yeah. Because it's a great test. And yeah. we definitely it's didn't a... hire actors to do this. We would send real cookies to real people. Mm -hmm. We'd and send real cookies to real people that thought they were being cheated on. And it's more of just what what are they going to do with those well, cookies? Well, because when you're <laughs> cheated on, you want to eat a lot of cookies. Yeah, that's and right. So, so, they so perfect. They were, this was for cheaters to send <laughs> to people who that's thought right. they, they were being cheated, cheated on. So they would say, hey, I think... They I think I think my wife knows that I'm cheating on her. <laughs> you sent her, you sent her sad ass cookies. So if she eats the cookies, you, you know. know that she she's knows. going through a bad time. And you know that she knows she's on to you. And I will say, look, so here's where we went wrong. When we found out that if the wife does eat the cookies, we would call her and tell her nothing is wrong. And that, I think, was gaslighting. That was bad. Yeah. And I think that's 
the beginning of when I realized this was a toxic workplace. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, it was tough. I mean, there was that one woman we sent her cookies and she said, oh, my gosh, is this a cookie thing? Is my husband cheating on me? Is my husband cheating on me? Is my And we just right. had to hang up. We just had to hang up. After yeah. Sometimes it gets sad when they realize that they're being <laughs> <laughs> That they're part of the Splooshes way, radio show. The husband yeah. would have gotten away with it if he hadn't <laughs> sent those test right. cookies. And that's what we do in the morning. You know, it's 6 a.m. We can't be sad. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. We can't be sad. Are we peaking, by the way? Uh, I don't think we're peaking actually at all that much. Then that's great. Awesome. Well, what about that one time that we had to pivot from all the cheating stuff and we started sending bunnies to teachers of the week that were touching kids' lives? Yeah, that be- became a huge problem. <laughs> a bunny loose in a classroom just yeah. would not work for them. Yeah, they, they re- PETA was mad at us for that because we'd just send them bunnies without a cage. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we had a lot of repeat teachers yeah. that year, so <laughs> yeah. Miss Stewart got, I think, three or four yeah. untamed wild bunnies without a cane. They were <laughs> reliant on user submissions, and only right. a few people wanted to do the bunny thing. And I was beginning. Totally. I think there were a couple prankster kids. <laughs> who took advantage of us, and I do think that. I think morning DJs are very frequently taken advantage of because we're available, we're open, and uh, we've gotten a lot of prank calls in our day. Oh, yeah. You're on the front lines. Yeah, I remember that one guy called and asked for Little Lion Man 25 times in a row, and we had to play it. Yeah, that's a rule. If you call in, you make it to air. We play whatever you suggest. Yeah. And people think we get up and we move or we turn it down. Our studio, we don't have the ability to turn it down. No, let's break it down. <laughs> we can't turn it off. We can't turn it down. We show up and talk. The techs do everything else. Yeah, they've outsourced all the engineering to another country. And we are just basically in a room and we throw things out and we hope that they get translated in a proper way. Yeah. We're being broadcast simultaneously at 5 a.m. America time and uh, 1900 at Russia, Moscow. <laughs> And believe me, the Russian actors who do what we do, they pretty much nailed it. They get it down. <laughs> they crush the competition. <laughs> they are real. We are very friendly. We've gone to see them a couple times. They are so nice. Totally. They, they're so crazy. Totally. Their name is Crazy Crunk and... And the Borscht. The Borscht. <laughs> <laughs> and the Borscht. We got to have them on. We got to have them on. Speaking of on, I'm on right now. On with a question. What did you guys do before this show? Why this don't we is tell the LK asks a question. Uh, <laughs> you're never getting the kids yet, son of a bitch. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> nag, nag, nag. It's question time. Okay, what's your question? <laughs> what did you guys do before Crazy Carl and the Beef? Crazy no. Cody. Crazy Cody. I think yeah, she's okay. short circuiting. <laughs> what did you? Yeah. Uh oh. Is it time to take a nap and stand outside? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the beef. Will you will you respond to the allegations that your nickname is because they found you uh drunk outside with a bunch of pieces of beef on your face? I will not be responding to the allegations. <laughs> so I started. I started in this little wacky industry we call morning radio when I was in college, and I actually became. Uh, the sole head of the uh, college radio station. We were at this little tiny radio station in Florida uh, at this university uh, called the uh, uh, University of South Central Florida Number 2. Play the clip! <laughs> Hi, I'm Cody. It's University of South Central Florida Radio. <laughs> You're never getting the kids. <laughs> wow, that was so early. You got it in yeah. there. <laughs> so you're never getting the kids was actually something that my mother used to say to my father. So when your wife started saying it to you, it was a really kind of crazy full circle moment that made me realize I was exactly where I needed to be. <laughs> It was actually kind of beautiful. It was actually kind of serendipitous. That's beautiful. So I started doing that, and, and, and uh, back in the day, in the early 80s, late 90s, uh, for some reason, a lot of morning, uh, a lot of radio station managers would listen to college radio. They were obsessed with that. I think it was a glory days thing. I think college radio was alive and well, but morning DJs were kind of in a weird zone. So they found me. They said, we're going to put you on, start you out something early. We're gonna, only going to give you four hours, and we're going to see how you handle it. So I did four hours every day at this little dinky podunk station uh, right outside of Charlotte, uh, South Carolina, and uh, it was... That's where we met. Yeah, that's where we met. 
So it was a great little radio station. It's kind of where uh, Crazy Cody and the Beef got started, and we were able to jump from radio to radio. So we've known each other for a long time. I started kind of on a local ham radio. I would just kind of record things, talk to people. Very close to, I grew up close to a very uh, big prison. So a lot of my conversations were prisoners listening to the ham radio and messaging me and emailing me when they could. And I remember this was a big deal. I read a newspaper article about this, and that's how I actually started hearing about the beef because uh, they had to take away a ham radio because there was a line around the block. People said, you want to use your one phone call? And they said, no, I want to talk to the beef on the ham radio. <laughs> and and from I think what had happened was you were – taking gossip from prisoners and you were telling it to other prisoners and that's why they started calling you the beef so prisoners started using you to, to I mediate will not be responding to the <laughs> allegations uh, we will not be you incited a prison riot is the <laughs> allegation i will say totally there was a big <laughs> prison riot kind of incited by me and that's why we had to move to i moved to charlotte and then we jumped to los angeles the bigger playing field <laughs> But we've known each other for years, and we got we met you guys, I think, day one once we got to Los Angeles, right? right? We responded to the open casting call for a woman. The breakdown <laughs> just said, a, a woman. woman. Well, tell the whole breakdown, a woman. A, a woman, woman. Parentheses, not ugly. <laughs> Sounding. You can be ugly in real life. After all, this is radio. Anyway, broads, come to 200 South. <laughs> <laughs> on 1998, April 17th to be exact. Oh, it's 5 p.m. Yep, and I believe it. it said. I believe. It said, oh, it's 5 p.m. I wrote right it. I end. wrote that. I believe at the bottom it said, "Come fed." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. We weren't providing any meals. And we wanted to make sure people we knew that. Make sure nobody. It was only day. a. It was only a 10 minute audition, so we wanted to make people make sure people knew we were surveilled. It was 1998. After all, they did have food and auditions back then, <laughs> and and we broke the mold. We were one of the first auditions in uh, Los Angeles to not, to have, not food have food at it. <laughs> food. Yeah. No snacks. No nothing. We yeah. So it said, "Come turkey. fed." So I knew what I was. I, I knew what y'all were doing. I think what about we that were all the getting day. into, but uh, we do yeah. remember our audition. Or at least I do. That's one of the things that recurs in my standing up <laughs> dreams quite frequently. Me too. Sometimes when I wonder how this all began, I see the beginnings and the endings of the audition. I remember stepping into the room. A casting director said, spin around. And then I did. And then they said, sit down on the mic. That part actually didn't matter. We meant spin around towards the mic because you're talking away from it. But nice ass, though. <laughs> anyway, I sat down and they told me to laugh for 10 minutes straight. And I did. I remember picking up a piece of paper that had a bunch of words that said, sick, cool, totally, what, gross, no, boys. And I did that over and over again. I wrote boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It totally. You're such a good writer, B. Yeah. Well, it kind of became your guys' catchphrase until you moved on to sick and totally. Yeah. No, it was awesome to be able to. And a lot of. I loved coming in to record um, just extra extraneous sounds because it was just a, a hypnotic. A uh, sort of trance state where you enter into a flow, a meditative state of ha, awesome, no way, uh oh, sick, awesome, boys. Yeah, it's so easy to get there now. I remember before it took me a while, and now, like sometimes I could just literally close my eyes and I go, ha, whoa, ha, ah, no, no, boy, stop it, no, she did what? <laughs> Don't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> Can't women be trusted? No, ha, <laughs> uh oh, boys. I go, okay. <laughs> awesome, sick. <laughs> no way. Uh oh. Boner alert, boys. Yeah, <laughs> soda. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> so this is actually a two-hour segment we usually do in the morning. We just let Absolutely. them go. We just let them go. Girl <laughs> on girl, we call it. <laughs> <laughs> or two girls, one mic. <laughs> two girls, one mic. Two girls, one mic. It changes. It around well, depending two on how girls, we feel. one mic is when we are given thirty seconds to express our appealing opinions, so we do it really, really fast. Yeah. And it's usually just. Red car, blue car. Red car, blue car. <laughs> red car, blue car. Red car, blue car. It's like a you Dr. Seuss book. You should unionize collective power within your workforce to bargain. I, I see. I get the last thing. I never understood red car, blue car, though. I don't know where <laughs> that came from. <laughs> you gals are so good to have in the studio because me and the beef, we get into some crazy 
crazy arguments that Absolutely. we always need you to settle. We need you guys to it's, settle. It's a trademark oh, uh, crazy Cody Oh, I love your Cody classic Lee. arguments. Your classic arguments that you then point to us for a third opinion. Yeah. 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 Like, like middle seat versus window seat. A huge debate. I'm a big middle seat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and man. I think you're crazy. <laughs> it's not crazy. <laughs> I love the middle seat. It's weird, and man. And sometimes when you're representing two types of culture like that, it's really hard. And you guys break the tie. Yeah. What do you guys yeah. say every time? In. Well, I said middle seat was bad. Hey! <laughs> that was my fight. What was it? What was one of your classic fights? They played it for me. It was I think it was when we were deciding between um salted almonds and uh non-salted almonds. Right. Yeah, I said non-salted almonds. Yeah, you all have the, the way. worst takes, my man. <laughs> you have the worst takes. I don't know what you're talking about. Unsalted middle seat. <laughs> Did somebody call Dr. Beige? That's what you sound like. Damn. This is oh, a classic yeah. roast by Ella K. Ella K. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, they pop out of this robotic thing and really roast my ass. Hey, tell Dr. Beige, I'm due for a checkup. My name's Mr. Beef. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are killing it together, actually. We should bring you in more. It's yeah. really fun. If I, could, if I could own up to something else, <laughs> I do think that the health care plan we have picked for the office uh, it unfairly... Uh, supports women i think i think it <laughs> it, it, it doesn't help uh -oh. you guys i think your resources uh are... oh not it unfairly supports women no no no, no. <laughs> I, I i think that it, it it supports women in an unfair way God. i think i'm well, so sorry a about big that debate that we had to settle yeah too. so that was the one budget wait, cut we wait, made in the last 10 years salted or unsalted huh so i think that uh the, the health care you're being provided is a little unsalted and i think you basically we well, get dental for half Yes. <laughs> bottom half. Yeah, you get the bottom, bottom half. Teeth. <laughs> you get the bottom, bottom, bottom teeth, teeth covered. Only. Because that's but where the sound bounces from. That beef and you have pearly whites. That's on right. On the top. On the top. <laughs> well, we get both halves covered. Yeah. <laughs> And and we get entire pills. I think there was a thing that you guys got <laughs> halves was, of pills. I, okay, well, so because, I thought yeah. that was I thought my pharmacist was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought my doctor was giving me little puzzles, <laughs> little puzzles to solve. I guess on this last day, I'm sitting around thinking about how the empire we left is one that might have consisted of gender inequality. It's cool that you did it in prank format, though, because it's not like you told us we couldn't get birth control or anything like that. Right. A lot of that stuff was covered. You just sort of made it a kooky hijinks for us to right. get pills. And you asked, you had to go to us before we provided mental health care for you <laughs> Yeah, guys. it See, ran through tell. you guys before the insurance. It was a funny prank. And, and, it, <laughs> and it landed in your lap in a funny way, it like did. finding out we sleep standing up. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I made that I made that uh, the cuckoo bananas line where I had you guys write down what you thought you were going through mentally, put it in one of those little bank tubes, shoot it up through the whole sky, and come out into my lap. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that that really how'd, you build that? That? how'd you build that? Well, we had the guys from Mythbusters come in. Oh, Adam Savage came in, and he built it for us. And <laughs> it was, was so, well. Let's talk about our favorite guests. Oh, I mean, let's talk favorite about guests. It. Oh my God, Carson Kressley from Queer Eye, the Andy original. Dick. Andy and Dick. When Carson Andy Dick Daly came in and here, his four sons. Yeah, absolutely. I loved when Carson Daly brought in his four sons, and they all sounded the exact same. I, uh, and I love that they have a little boys choir, but they all sing high alto. <laughs> what about Sanjaya? Sanjaya was the <laughs> Sanjaya best. Sanjaya was the best. Man. Sanjaya I would, wish yeah. his career took off. Sanjaya was I, I'm the best. I'm still crossing best. my fingers. Remember when we sent Sanjaya to the Casey Anthony trial? <laughs> <laughs> to sing? <laughs> <laughs> that was Man, so I forgot much about fun. all the court stuff we did. <laughs> oh, all the court yeah. stuff. Can you believe it? <laughs> can we you please guys. talk about can you, do the, court can you do the sketch where uh, Paris Hilton was being interviewed by O.J. Simpson? <laughs> yes. <laughs> being interviewed by O.J. Simpson. Classic court case stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring, bring. Hello? <laughs> Who is this? O.J.? Why are you interviewing me? You did it? So, big debate was if he did it or not. That was and a big debate was whether or not you were going to do OJ's voice. <laughs> Remember that time got, we took. I got I too much trouble last time. You did OJ's voice. Remember that time 
You dressed, uh, what's your name? LK. Remember that time you took me and LK, you put us in two trench coats on top of each other, and you sent us in the John Benet Ramsey case? Yeah, yeah. that Just was awesome. Just a dance funky. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. You guys we did the mashed potato. We paid off the lawyer to call an all-star witness, and you guys did the mashed potato <laughs> on the stand. <laughs> And again, we are in a radio format, so we, we can only hear the judge going, order, order, what are you doing? Yeah. You guys had to be real poetic. To that, our that was awesome. We've had so much fun, so many good debates. Remember when we debated assisted suicide? Yeah, we did. I remember that. <laughs> that was way out of our depth. That was a lot. Yeah. We I were really both got wrong. It. We kept saying pink car, blue car. Huh? Yeah. Pink car, blue car. Explode by choice? <laughs> we didn't quite know. I mean, we've seen so many things come and go in this era, you know? A trans. Remember when we used to make fun of the Kardashians and now I'm calling them every day asking for a job? Yeah. <laughs> I do remember What that. job do you want there? I'm doing undercover ass. It's a prank <laughs> show where I pretend to be Kim Kardashian's big ass. <laughs> that doesn't sound like their brand at all. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure I'm you're talking confused. to the Kardashians? Also, yeah, I thought they were over the and ass. A, and I'm confused. You walk around pretending to be Kim Kardashian's big ass. That's do you right. talk? I, I hug her like a koala, and I walk around being her ass. It's, I pitch it to her as a prank that I'm pitching it, but also if they take it, I'll do it. I think you might be pranked by a different radio host. Really? <laughs> you yeah. To, there's, yeah. I don't know. If they are interested, well, let's I not would bring up our rival show. Oh right? my let's gosh! Let's not bring up Cody Blork and the Splash. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Cody Blork and the Splash. It's like kind of an amalgamation of all the things we are. <laughs> and they started a year later, I think, to make fun of you guys. And of course, they are on 100, the cool. Yeah. Which plays the best music. We are kind of limited with our music. They get to play a lot of. Alt rock stuff. They gotta play a lot of cooler stuff. You know, it's just tough. Well, they were yeah. always a little bit more PC. Yeah, they, they were lamer. In. They were lamer. They wouldn't yeah, go yeah. there. They weren't talking about court cases. No. But Bissany, I think your song is playing on that station right now, right? <laughs> I did have a brief. <laughs> I had a brief uh, moment in my music career when I woke up in the middle of the night and had a personality. Yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. I wrote a song. And then I, I wish back. we were there for that. That would have been <laughs> awesome. I wish we yeah, got that, yeah, but I'm yeah. glad you got it for yourself. Yeah, yeah. It was wild. Uh, but my song, yeah, and my song does play on their radio station, and I hate that. I hate that, boys. I hate that. Um, but I can't get it back. But it's so catchy, <laughs> though. Yeah, sing it a little. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, What's the title of it again? I don't, I don't really remember. Oh. It's called What Do I Dream Of? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Why do I dream? Dream in the <laughs> seams <laughs> of my notebook <laughs> at school. What do I dream <laughs> in the dream of <laughs> my memes? <laughs> Memes of my mom in the pool. Yeah, so it was really just like that. Rabab Bob is going huge on TikTok oh, right they now. Love it's going the, big. It's, it's viral crazy. audio. It's crazy. Oh my god! Whoa, do you guys? We have an actual caller in. I'll get this one. Oh! oh! Hey, caller in. What's up? Hi, I am sodden in waterlogged clothing. Oh, it looks like we have a late entry for the wet t-shirt poem contest. You're about 10 <laughs> years late, my girl. <laughs> we're dead. We, we are out of I, rush tickets. I there is no way. I'm dressed and saturated in the water of man. Wow, this one's good. Wow, I'm horny. <laughs> I heard this is an assignment at many colleges now. <laughs> it's like that We're going to talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, wait. I, I don't mean to break. I just sang my song, and I suddenly, I don't know, that brought me back to life a little bit. I just want to know, we were talking about gender equality, and I know you two have your podcast, your HelloFresh podcast. Oh, yeah, we've started a HelloFresh <laughs> podcast. Did we guys have a I guess we yeah. didn't talk about the I guess podcast w- yet. We well, didn't, well, we didn't really talk about how it's sponsored by HelloFresh. No, but it, yeah, it's it sponsored and is only about HelloFresh. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So would you consider bringing on one or both of us? Ooh, I think we should leave this up. To the callers, caller 100 now <laughs> decides if the girls join our HelloFresh podcast. It's up to you. Their jobs are on the line. Can't uh, women be trusted to run a HelloFresh sponsored podcast? What do I dream? <laughs> 
What do we are do women get 100. top teeth clean do or do women see? get to top teeth cavity? Uh oh, see? boys, here we go. What oh do no, sick. Oh no. All right, see? well, it's that time we again. Are. I think we, we got to sign see? off. So, coming at you next time, I'm Crazy Cody. I'm the beef. And I that's think my real sh- name is Denise. <laughs> and I think I have four kids by the name of Sally, Bendy, and Young. <laughs> You gotta go get him. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. This has been Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. We'll see you next time. Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Culhane, Angela Giaratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood!